<laughs> in good health today, poor food choices, lack of sleep and a little exercise all linked to type 2 diabetes. And experts say actually that too many women are raising their own risk of diabetes by focusing on their family's health and not their own. Our Dr. Frank George is here with a closer look at this problem. Doc? Well, Karen and Jason, here's the question for viewers. Are you burning the candle at both ends, taking care of your responsibilities to others at home and at work, but ignoring your own needs? Well, one working mom wants you to know that can be a recipe for disaster. So we want your blood sugar, in theory, 125 or less. Becky Wood knows how much that number matters. The single mother of two developed type 2 diabetes at age 40. She thinks her career as an interior designer working up to 60 hours a week played a role. I think the stress, the food choices, the hours of not sleeping enough, and the focus is, as a single mom, being able to cover all the bases, make sure everybody's okay. Dr. Donna Casey has seen many women like Becky sacrificing their own health for others. But she says type 2 diabetes can be managed and in some cases reversed. Losing weight and changing your diet has immediate results. Mm -hmm. It's shocking what we see, how quickly people can turn themselves around. Becky has made the right changes, including working fewer hours. She hopes others can learn from her mistakes. Sometimes we think, well, financially, if I slow down, that's not a good thing. But really, in the long run, it's better to take care of your health when, you're, when you realize it early on, because you'll pay the price down the road if you don't. You sure will. Now, stress can increase your risk of hormonal abnormalities and resistance to insulin. And a lack of sleep can actually raise your diabetes risk in multiple ways by interfering with the body's metabolic processes and making you more likely to eat poorly and less likely to exercise. Back to you.